Greetings Consciousness. Welcome back. And so in this podcast, we are diving into alchemy. Now there's a statement made in the Bible which says, Honor your father and mother so your days may be longer in the land or in the earth. Now many people don't realize when they are reading the Bible, they are reading a very cryptic book, very scientific. The Bible has very little to do with worshipping. But in actuality, for the alchemist. Now, for those of us who are well versed in esoteric knowledge and also chemism, which is the father of all knowledge, we can understand what the book is all about. And so recently we've been talking about the Kabbalah tree of life. Which is also about the staff of Tehuti. Now you all know the staff of Tehuti also has a center pillar and two serpents. On the Kabbalah tree of life, you have three pillars. Jachim and Boaz. The center one is also your spinal column. In the Emerald Tablet, Tauti says, The sun is a father and the moon is a mother. So for the alchemist, when you are told, honor your father and mother, we are not talking about your physical father and mother. Because only God knows who they are and every human being knows they came through the sexual act through their parents but they also know their parents did not actually create them and in fact the parents don't have a clue how their children are created. And in most cases, whatever sex you're going to be is not even known to them. Today we have the scan. You can just go and find out. But in the ancient times, most people perhaps will go to a fetish priest, a shaman, to find out what child they were going to be bearing. And so for the alchemist, honor your mother and father is the sacred fluid that descends from the cerebral column into the sacrum, which is known as the kundalini energy. Kundalini and Kundabafa or Ida and Pingala. These two substances are the sun and the moon, the yin and the yang. This is why you are told, ye are all gods, children of the Most High. And of course, the Bible tells you, call no one on earth father. Because you only have one father. And he is in heaven. 
Now we are not talking about a man sitting in space. We are talking about the spirit, the unmanifested spirit that creates through the primordial substance of space which is commonly known as the mother goddess or the goddess mother which is the darkness of space and so we talk about the creator is a woman because through the woman the darkness of space which is melanin dark matter the unmanifest spirit creates through this is the mingling between spirit and matter these two forces are known as Ida and Pingala when a child is created these energies descends to the base of their spine this is a perfect marriage when these two ascend as you are told a man may leave his mother and father's house and unite with his woman or wife because your mother and your father's house is your genetics that's your body your physical body and so the alchemist is the one who performs the ascension process from within by raising the sexual energy that you are told honor your mother and father so your days may be longer in the earth because the earth is your body therefore the alchemists practice celibacy which means he does not spill the sexual fluid and through tantra sex without the orgasm he raises this energy which activates each chakra over time because of course sex is very pleasurable but sex is only nice during the arousal process the build-up is the excitement once you ejaculate the game is over you want more but there's no more you see and so the purpose of tantra is to use the arousal process but no ejaculation and when you do not ejaculate the energy which ra rises on the middle staff which is jacob's ladder this energy then gives you strength in the body and ascend into the cerebral column giving you more power within now of course we have to talk about this type of stuff but this is by no means telling people to practice sexual alchemy or semen retention but you want to do knowledge you want to have knowledge therefore we have to discuss these things so you understand these statements that you read in the bible because whenever you see the staff of hermes or staff of tauti you see the caduceus with the two wings on it most of the time you see the sun and the moon these are the two principles when you look at the symbols of alchemy the masculine and feminine which has been raised on a staff of Tewuti is all about 
sexual alchemy. And this is why most monks, most nuns, most fathers in the churches tried to perform celibacy or to become celibates. But of course, if you are not ready, most of you have heard stories in the churches about child abuse. You see, when you look at the flower of life, it is nothing but the hexagon, which from a bird's eye view you see from or you see on Saturn, which is why Saturn is the lord of physical creation. This flower of life was found in the temples of Abydos in Egypt. Which is describing the formation of the human embryo, where one cell splits into two, three, four, five, six, so on and so forth. But of course, we know that is how we all came to be the multiplication of cells, the division of cells. And so one has to be aware of their own superman power. And so often you probably hear procreation or immortality. Because this sacred fluid in us was our beginning. And when this fluid or this energy is not abused... Then you have internal power. Because you do not spill your seed. That is why Abraham was told. Through thy own seed. Seed. I will give this land. And so in Galatians 4.22. You are told. Hagar. The slave woman's children is according to the flesh. This is when you procreate through the sexual act. But I said, Sarai, child is according to the promise. This is internal alchemy. This is why I normally used to tell you about the birth of the Christ within. When you look at yoga, it's all about to bind heaven and earth together. That's why people meditate. But in the mystery systems, or for the initiates, they had to understand the process of alchemy, which starts from semen retention, because that's where the power lies. Because through the act of sex, this universal power, mother and father, unites to create this electrical charge that brings about the child. So you can just imagine a force that creates a human being when this force is withdrawn from being spilled and ascending this, this force upwards. One can get high on your own supply. And so you've probably heard in the Bible, Physician, heal thyself. These things are all about alchemy. And so to honor your mother and father is to respect the sacred fluid by not abusing it. When you look after it, you gain strength. You don't lose energy, so they say, so your days may be longer in the earth. You all know most sports people are told 
not to spill their seed if they have a competition. Because when the semen, when the sexual energy is within you, you have strength. And so celibacy, that's why I told you recently, is not ejaculating. And fornication is wasting the sexual fluid by enjoy ejaculating all the time. Because people have become too addicted to the orgasm. Not realizing this electricity, you know, electric force that causes one to forget their name even. Doesn't last very long. But it causes one to lose a lot of energy. Therefore, the next time you ejaculate, you see how you feel after. And so with this said, I hope you understand the statement, honor your mother and father so your days may be long in the earth. The body is your earth. By respecting the sacred fluid. You gain strength, peace, 